Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Man Manga Boy Opens Boxes. Yes, that's right. You did indeed click on an unboxing video. You may not have realized it. I'm just letting you know before this box is officially open, because it's going to be open pretty soon, okay? Oh, it's already started. So we got two boxes here from Right Stuff. You know, of course, these I'm pretty sure are mostly October pre-orders and the late September pre-orders. So we're going to have a pretty busy month because of that. And what do you know? My shoujo beat Ziploc baggie. I have been dying for this. Thank goodness it's finally here. I ordered this. I don't know when, but I'm so glad that it's here. May maybe July? <laughs> I don't know. Whenever there was that big so shoujo jump promotion, shoujo jump, shoujo beat promotion. Here we have Tengo Tenge uh, by Oh Great. This is one of his earlier works and uh, possibly his first work that was sent over here. I don't remember if his first work was or not. Maybe it was. But I actually used to watch this manga. Wait a minute. I used to read. No, I used to watch the anime. Mm, that's it. Uh, and I hope it's a lot different -er than the uh, manga because, well, there wasn't really an, an, an ending to the anime that much. Uh, you know, the main characters just got really strong and then there was this bad guy and then that was the end of it. It's been a while since I read it, since high school. I think there was around 20 episodes or so. It was pretty cool though. I really liked it a lot. They got a character, his name's Bob. He's pretty strong. He's pretty strong. Kind of falls into the background, sadly. But he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. But yeah, these, these guys are just going to high school. They want to be the strongest in the high school. The high school turns out to be uh, pretty darn tough to be the strongest, but they think they got it. They go there, they're like, you know, we don't got it right now. We got to we gotta do some training. So they do some training. They get a nice master. He's a very nice master. You know what I'm saying? And so, oh, look at this here now. New York Comic Con. Anime NYC. Some familiar phases here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Backside. Is this the same people? No, this is different people. Okay, got it. Cool. Pretty cool. Well, I won't be there. See you guys there. <laughs> Actually, I think this is already... No, it's in December. Okay, so Cross Game, Volume 4. I was only missing a few volumes of Cross Game here. And so, you know, I ordered them and I waited for them to come in and they're here now but but this is a kind of an interesting manga it's about baseball okay don't leave don't leave uh and it's like a generational kind of uh manga so time passes on they get a little older at least it looks like they get older and this is a classic manga a lot of people talk about it I am still missing one volume though I think I think it was three I'm missing. I have one and two and then the last two and then I just got the sandwich in the middle, but I'm still missing a few. It's too bad, but I'll get it when I give it. I've got plenty to read in the meantime. Banana Fish Volume Tree and Banana Fish. I really like the art style to it. It's so crisp and clean. I don't know. It reminds me kind of like of Doro Hedoro, but uh, the character like drawings, not so much the backgrounds because the backgrounds of Doro Hedoro are like goddamn messy <laughs> they're messy you know banana fish four i'm still missing quite a lot of banana fish but you know it'll get here when it gets here five i pretty much only know is that these guys are anti-drugs they're trying to get drugs off the street and i don't even know if that's true but i do know banana fish is a drug and i'd want to get drugs off the street <laughs> So, so that's what this one's about. <laughs> that's that. That's the whole plot, okay? Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Erase Volume 5. This is 
the final volume, though four technically ends the story. I don't really understand what this volume is, but it is quite a bit thinner. I have one through four already. Let me show you guys what it looks like with the dust jacket off. It looks pretty nice and shiny. Not bad, not bad. Surprised more people don't display it with the dust cover off. Personally, I'm going to display it with the dust cover on because, uh, well, I'll lose the dust cover and then it'll be ruined and then, well, then I'll cry and I'll feel like I don't have a complete collection of erased. No good. No good. Maybe that's why people don't do it, but it is a cool one. It is a very cool one to have outside of the dust jacket, I gotta say. So this is a mini box. I didn't count it in my two boxes. I know it says two out of two, okay? And the other one said one out of two, but I, this is not the one that I was counting as the second box. Because this one is a mini boy, okay? So let's open up a little mini, a little mini me. And see what we got. Get it, get it. There we go. I'm getting weaker these days since I started using the uh, box cutters. They really, you know, they're no good for the soul, truly. <laughs> I've been using the box cutters for a while now, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, look at this big pile of We Never Learn. So I've been missing quite a few of these volumes for a while now. Here's We Never Learn, volume 12. I have one through eight, and then just like, I think 16 through 19. So I've been missing a few of them. Volume 10. So I thought I should probably just get them while they were on sale. So I did volume 13. This, I think I got it during that Viz sale. That was a while ago. I mentioned it before. I looked it up and then I forgot exactly when it was. <laughs> I know what you guys are saying. This guy's hopeless. You know, you'd be right. You'd be 100% right. I'm pretty bad with my dates. Pretty bad. But these banana fishes I've been I've been getting for a long time now, so I can't wait to finish them up. Have the full set. We never learn. On the other hand, I'm pretty much. Ooh, there's even more in here. Look at that. Volume nine. I'm pretty much just grabbing. We never learn. Whenever it's on sale. And I just want to binge it because I know it's just about over in English. I'm pretty sure. It was just about over in English anyhow. So I want to read it when it's all completed. And that's just kind of like how I like, like to read motion and jump titles, especially the ones where, you know, I'm 20 plus volumes behind. <laughs> it's, you know, listen, I took my time getting to here. Might as well just wait. This is the end of my banana fish haul. That's a nice little T-Rex there. Look at him. 15. Well, it could be a mama T-Rex. Who knows, right? I don't see the hips. I can't tell you unless they look at the hip. Volume 12, that's like, you know, I always wondered that about people, you know, like, uh, well, let's end this one here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Welcome back. So yeah, I always wondered that who in the world be looking at men and girl skeletons being like, spot the difference, mofo. I don't know. Not my job, not my problem. That's what they say. But it is a quandary I do have. <laughs> So this is another smaller boy, but this is a decent size, medium size boy. All right, this is Nat Grande, extra large. I don't know my Starbucks sizes, so you guys will have to scold me for that one in the comments down below. Put an F in the chat uh, for my poor Starbucks terms. Madoka Magica, the different magical story. Omnibus, I, I don't have the first Omnibus, so I don't... Think I'll be reading this anytime soon. I watched like a little bit of half or maybe a little more than half the anime, six or seven episodes. And I really was liking it, but then I think it was that I was moving or I was upgrading my server. I use a Plex Media server. And so I um, stopped watching it to do that and then I never picked it back up. But I know if I read it, you know, this is part of the reason why I like to read physical manga. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even the anime, it's hard for me. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, Volume 2, you see how that is? That's all the twos. Ooh, Orin, that's a sick page. So this was the only one I was missing for Kingdom Hearts 2. I do have most of the Kingdom Hearts manga. I am finding out now that Kingdom Hearts Volume 2 for Kingdom Hearts 1 is actually out of print these days. I was like, damn, who would have thought? I do have all the Tokyo Pops, but the um, Omnibus ones are a little cooler. And plus, I do have all the other ones from Yen Press, so I figured I should get that one too. 
Sword Art Progressive. I am still trying to collect all of these. I think I'm only missing one left after today's haul. I think it's like volume four or three. These I also am just slowly gathering. Once I have them all, I will try to pin them all, but maybe I'll just put them in my pile. I definitely have no intention of binging Girl Ops, but I am interested to read it. Just like Gun Gale Online, despite it being kind of a different story where I hope Kirito isn't the main focus. I think Girl Spec Ops is um, almost done in English. I don't know how long it is though in Japan, or maybe it's recently finished in Japan. I don't know. Or maybe we're caught up. Oh my god. Did you guys see this? What the heck? What the? What? Guys, I think Red Stuff sent this to me by mistake. Uh, I ordered this back in like May, uh, and it somehow got here. Do you guys think that they meant to send it to me? I thought that they were just going to ghost me. Um, uh, uh, so I can finally start reading Chainsaw Man again. Oh my god. I can't wait. I can't wait. That looks cool. Can't wait to read that too. This is gonna be great. Gonna be great. Okay, let's open this up. Ooh, Blood Lad, Bloody Brat. Volume two. It's just called Bloody Brat. I guess it's not called Blood Lad anymore. This is just a bunch of four comas. It's a spinoff of Blood Lad. Blood Lad also out of print. <laughs> Rip. I have most of the Blood Lad volumes. I think I'm missing seven and nine. The Whichever two are hardest to get, I'm missing them, okay? Those are the ones. As great as that is. Sword Art, volume three, Hollow Realization. I really don't like how they change the numbering uh, for every arc. It confuses the F and H out of me. The F and S out of me? I don't know. The heckin', heckin' A, whatever you want to say. I made a little rhyme there, okay? Sword Art Online Progressive Volume 3. A few of the Sword Art Online volumes are out of print, uh, so get them while you can, boys and girls. You know how it is with them paper shortages. Oh, look at this surprise. Where did me at Volume 14? I haven't seen this in a long time in my halls. This is, this has been a, a really long time. This recently ended in Japan, I believe. I don't think the last volume's out, but the last chapter came out, something like that. So yeah, that's uh, gonna be another rom-com series I'm gonna give a go. Anyways, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Man Manga Boys Manga Unboxing videos. Please comment below if you purchased anything or are interested in anything new that I showed you today. Bye-bye, thanks for watching.